they doing too much. Haven't done my taxes, I'm too turned up. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome if you're new and if you're returning as always. Love you guys. So as you can see, this is the long awaited. I don't think it was long awaited, but it just took me some time to like get everything together how I want it. Yeah, it's very important to make your house a home. So I took my precious time in doing so. Um, I'm probably going to update it more than this in the future, but as of now, this is my fully furnished apartment tour. So without further ado, let's just go ahead and get started, get right into it, cause that's what you came here for. Yeah. <laughs> okay guys, so we're starting off in my entryway. So I have the biggest unit out of the one bedrooms. So my apartment has like a little hallway, entryway, whatever you wanna call it. So this is my little entryway. When you first come in the door, this is what you see. So determined to get a mirror for this table. I did get the table first, um, but I definitely wanted something um, to go over top of it. And I'm not really like a painting girly. So yeah, Miss Man was stopping the show. So first things first, the mirror is from Target. The vase is a, like a body vase um, and I got it from Amazon as well as the assortment of plants that's in it. So the assortment is actually made by myself. It's actually two pompous leaf plant <laughs> whatever um assortments and i kind of just combined them to give it some color to give it some body some shape the picture frame i actually made the picture myself obviously um i already had the frame and i kind of just went on canva and made my own little wi-fi <laughs> picture um i thought that was super cute i did see it on pinterest and just thought that was a super cute and fun idea um pretty much everything on the table is from amazon and is linked in the amazon storefronts in the description um the bowl that you see is amazon as well as the little decoration underneath of it the only thing that isn't from amazon are all of my elephants <laughs> of course with me being a delta woman i collect elephants here at the bottom, I pretty much just have this little mat because I do ask people to take their shoes off in my house. Um, so yeah, the shoes that you see right there are mine. <laughs> and the basket you see, I want to say I got it from Home Goods. Um, it has a bunch of socks in it, so when it gets a little warmer outside, people can actually take their shoes off and put socks on because I don't know about y'all. I don't really like walking around barefoot. So yeah, I have complimentary socks because why? I'm a good host. The next thing that you see when you walk in my entryway is my laundry closet. It does have a full washer and dryer um, and then like a storage shelf up at the top. So uh, yeah, with this just being my laundry closet, I did try to organize it as much as possible. So in this corner, um, you can see I just have these two clear bins with pretty much all of my cleaning supplies like uh, detergent, softener, extra Swiffer wipes and stuff like that. The clear bins I did get from Target and I believe it's the Bright Room collection because when I first moved in everything was kind of just scattered up there and I couldn't like directly beside that is pretty much all of Jigga's stuff so just her leash, some extra poop bags, um, her towels are underneath there for when I give her a bath, there's some shampoo in there, just all doggy stuff. <laughs> Below on top of my jar, this little basket you see, it's really just all the Jigga's clothes. My dog is very spoiled so yeah she has a bunch of outfits. <laughs> Um, this unit was new. I was the first person to live in it. So everything was brand new. All of the appliances, they were clean. Um, and yeah, it's just super cool. Like it actually makes washing less, um, of a hassle and a little bit more interesting because I did have to learn it a little bit, but I just love how high tech it is and super easy to use on the door of my laundry closet i actually have all of like my broom and just things i used to clean um and the hooks that you see are command hooks i actually ordered a bunch of them from amazon but i honestly think that you can get them way cheaper at target or probably even walmart or something but this next closet in the entryway is just my coat closet and i'm gonna tell you guys right now she is not organized at all <laughs> So I'm going to give y'all a little peek of what she looks like, but I'm, I'm telling you, she's she's not organized. Yep, little peek. 
And in this corner leading into my kitchen and the foyer area, um, I just have this plant that I actually put together. So the olive tree is from Amazon. I love it so much. It looks super realistic. The pot is from Target as well as the pot stand. And then the moss that you see in the inside, um, I just got out of a, a arts and crafts store. I wanna say I got it from Joann's. And it leads you into the kitchen. Okay, so I'm pretty much just gonna start from beginning to end. Of course, you see my refrigerator. Okay, so fair warning, my diet is some crap, but I'm working on it. I'm definitely working on it. When you first open my fridge, I pretty much just have all of my frozen goods, foods, um, minus the McDonald's McFlurry. When you open my fridge, it is a little better. I feel like most of my food is in my freezer and I kind of just use my fridge for like coffee, milk, juice, water, you know, your everyday essentials and then like leftovers. You have a water purifier just because I don't have a water filter in here, my coffee essentials, and then the clear bins that you see are actually from Amazon, I got them in a really huge set. The egg carton you see, I got from Home Goods for a really good price. I believe I got this for like $4. And then on the door, I kind of just have like all of my condiments and some wines. <laughs> Directly next to that is my pantry. So when you open the top part of my pantry, again, I have more organizing stuff. So the basket at the top is from Home Goods. It pretty much just has all of my popcorn and crackers in it. The next one over has all of my rice. And on this bottom shelf, I have um, a lot of my containers labeled. The labels I did get from Amazon as well. All the clear bins that you see are from Amazon, but the bins and the labels came separately. They are listed in the Amazon storefront, so if you wanna check them out, you should. In the back, I have cereal, then there's a basket with some bread in it. Here are some grits, granola, oatmeal. This is pretty much just all of my like breakfast essentials. I pretty much just have all my like essential condiments. There's some pasta here on the side. This is actually like a Lazy Susan, which I think is super convenient. This is kind of like my junk drawer. Like this is kind of like my junk cabinet. As you can see, I have some chips back there. This is my cookie jar. And moving on to the next cabinet, the one directly next to the pantry. I like to call this one like my china cabinet. <laughs> So up at the top, the glasses that you see are actually handmade by my aunt. They were a housewarming gift. The second shelf um, with the wine glasses are from Home Goods. The two shot glasses that you see are from Amazon. They came as a set of six. And I actually really like them. You're gonna see them later on my bar, but I think they're, the craftsmanship is beautiful, really, if it would focus. <laughs> um, and they have some weight to them, so you can tell they're not like, flimsy and can break easily so yeah the beer cans you watched part two to my moving series you would have saw these but these are like the infamous beer can bottles uh beer can glasses whichever you want to call it this last row pretty much is a lot from my parents house <laughs> except for the clear mugs you see so yeah this like whole group of of just regular glasses are from my parents as well as like these kind of like short stumpy ones these kind of look like whiskey glasses, but yeah, they're definitely from my parents' house. And then the clear mugs or glass mugs that you see are from Home Goods. And I actually got those for a good deal too. They came in a set of four. And I think I got them for like $6, $5, something like that. Um, yeah, they were super inexpensive. So next over in this skinnier cabinet, it's not really much in here. But I kind of just have like all of my like baking and cooking utensils. There's two measuring cups back there. Um, I believe I got both of them from Home Goods, as well as the measuring spoons that are inside. And then above that, I just have some mixing bowls. In the next cabinet over, this is pretty much all of my dishware. So the bowls that you see on the top shelf, the black set is from the Strawberry Street set from Amazon. And I absolutely love that dish set, y'all. It's definitely linked in the Amazon storefront. This white White set is from Ikea. Um, I had this like years ago when I actually had my first off-campus 
housing apartment type of place thing but yeah the strawberry street set i love so much these are the plates that come with it they have like little saucer plates and then regular size plates um the bowls y'all like let me just show y'all the bowls the bowls are so big they're so deep i normally eat like pasta or maybe like if i'm having like stir fry or something out of it but i love them so much like they're perfect sizing i love the matte black same for the plates um here i just have some plastic bowls for when i don't feel like eating out of glassware so like cereal oatmeal all that great stuff and then of course just some plastic plates um because i'm not about to wash dishes every day <laughs> Underneath the cabinets is the infamous knife set all over TikTok, all over YouTube. Everybody named Mama got it. <laughs> it's the Home Hero knife set. Honestly, y'all, besides aesthetic wise, I love this knife set. The knives are unmatched, truly. Like, they're great. They cut through anything. And when I say anything, I mean, even if you have like a frozen entree, they're going to cut through them. Over here in this corner is just um, an electric wine opener because we're bougie over here. And then this just came with the knife set. It's just to sharpen the knives. Underneath here, this little guy, this little fake plant that you see, is actually coasters. And isn't he so adorable? <laughs> Next to it is just this kosher salt bamboo container jar whatever. Um, you just kind of twist it open, salt, and then I love this because of the little spoon. So like when I have like long nails and I can't pinch the salt, I just use the spoon. The label that you see on it is from a set off of Amazon. Um, it's a total different set from the one that has the labels, like the ones that you saw in the pantry and the actual bamboo container is from Home Goods. These two electric salt and pepper shakers are from Amazon. And then this really cute mason jar um, spoon holder is from the store at home. Then you just have my microwave and stove. Directly besides that are two glass jars that I got from Home Goods. It's just an apple cider vinegar and olive oil. And then we're gonna go directly above next to the microwave and go into this cabinet. This might be my favorite cabinet. I did organize this in my moving series part two. Um, it's my spices cabinet, spice rack, whatever you want to call it. So way up at the top, I just have some, it's just extra K cups for coffee and tea from my Keurig. The second shelf is pretty much all of the spices, um, just in bulk. I do like to buy my spices in bulk so I don't run out fast because your girl be cooking. Um, and then the two containers that you see, the, the plastic ones, did come in that set that was in the pantry. Um, yeah, like I said, guys, they do come in all sizes, so make sure you check those out if you are like an organizing girl like me. Um, and I just have my sugar and brown sugar in them, and then some oils, vegetable oils, all that great stuff. And then the bottom shelf, um, the bamboo shelf, as well as the jars on the shelf is from Amazon. The labels did come with the jars, so you don't have to worry about that. And they do come in different fonts. Um, so if you don't want to use this particular type of font, I think they have like three more other choices. And then on the side, I just have like some extra spices and seasonings and stuff like that. A next part is something that was really interesting to me when I was looking at the apartment. It's these two shelves. So up at the top, you see the four wine glasses. And then at the bottom are these black, huge coffee mugs that are actually from the Strawberry Street set that I showed you earlier. Look how deep, look how big. Like, you can literally eat out of these. I have eaten out of these before. Like, <laughs> they're so great. I love them so much. That is why I love the Strawberry Street set. It does come in other colors too, if you guys are interested. I think it comes in like white, but like a bone white and then like blue and pink. So yeah. Um, the plant that you see in the middle is really old. I think it's from Amazon and it came with the set that was on the entryway table. The glasses at the top are ancient. <laughs> They're when I first, first, first moved off campus and I was trying to be grown and decorate my off-campus apartment. They're actually plastic, <laughs> but you wouldn't know until I told you. They're actually plastic and I believe I got them from like the dollar store. But again, I was a young man, I was trying to be grown. <laughs> Of course just my sink area this little guy is also from college i really don't remember where i got it but i want to say i got it from the store at home 
um you can change the words i do have the letters somewhere but i mean i've only been living here for a few months so home sweet home just fits of course over here is my keurig and then underneath is my storage for my keurig with all my coffee not coffee <laughs> I need to refill it, obviously, but my coffee and my tea is going here. My Echo, and then this cabinet above that is all of my coffee cups, Starbucks cups, and my Tupperware. I just got this girly today, and she's so cute, is she not? I mean, she screams spring, but she's probably gonna be like my everyday cup. So now we're gonna go to all of the cabinets that are at the bottom of the kitchen. So this cabinet under my china cabinet is all of my pots and pans. I feel like they kind of fit perfectly in this cabinet. The gray ones that you see, I got off of Amazon and I love them so much. Um, I don't remember the name of them, hold on. Okay, so I don't remember the name of them. Um, I mean the name of them and they're not on there. I wanna say though, they're the cr Cruzar, cru Cruzan. Oh, wait, I'm lying. They're the Cathalon. Cathalon pot set. I love it so, so much, y'all. For real. Like, I love that pot set so much. I use it all the time. Um, the white pots that you see, they did come in a set. Again, I got them delivered from Amazon and they came perfectly. Nothing was banged up, broken, scratched. Um, and I use them the most. This next cabinet over here, it's kind of just storage. So we're not gonna look at her but for too long. <laughs> But I just have some cutting boards under there, some extra kitchen utensils. I haven't even taken the plastic off of them. And then my lunchbox for when I go to work. All of my silverware goes in here. Um, I believe I got this organizer from Target. I wanna give these guys their own cameo because I love them so much. These are the straws that I use when I'm drinking out of like the beer can type of glasses. Um, I like to use them when I'm drinking coffee just cause aesthetic. <laughs> This next drawer just has all of my cooking utensils. In this last drawer, I just have all of my like dish washer, towels, some oven mitts, and then some placemats under there. And then on my island, I actually only have one cabinet here. So under here, I just keep all of my pretty much like food storage, so like plastic baggies, parchment paper, um, aluminum foil and then I have my trash bags and then this second shelf it just has all of Jiggy stuff um, so like all of her food her treats medicine all that great stuff on top of my counter this I got from at home the store at home I got it a little while back so I don't even know if it's still in stock this little guy I got him from Target this um candle is the being frenchy candle collection i got it from target as well i kind of just use her as decoration now because ashley you did your thing with the other stuff like the soap and the body mist but the candles babe i just feel like when i burn it i can't smell it <laughs> so i kind of just use it as decoration now but she's cute she's she's cute <laughs> um these bar stools are from amazon too girl amazon cut me my check like when i tell y'all half of my apartment is literally furnished by amazon <laughs> i mean it but yes i originally only had two but because of how big the um well not big it's not huge but just because of how much space i had left under my island i, uh, I do have guests come over here quite often rather it's friends or family and i don't like everybody eating on miss eggnog because she's white <laughs> but yeah that's pretty much the kitchen i think i covered everything So now moving on into my living room area. So when you first walk into the living room, you see this beautiful art cart. This was another project that I was working on. So on this top shelf, that plant that you see in the corner, um, I wanna say my mom got it from Sam's Club. It was a housewarming gift. And then these glasses are the same ones that you saw in my china cabinet in my kitchen like i said they came in a set of six from amazon so i just put four over here these whiskey glasses are gorgeous 
like can we just gorgeous i love the shape i love the iridescent finish on them and i got them from amazon they were super inexpensive so yeah i don't believe that they're linked in the amazon storefront so if you're interested in them let me know and i can put them in there on this bottom shelf in the back i just have like a mixer set that i got as a housewarming gift from my aunt two bottles of wine that i'll probably never drink <laughs> they're just for show and miss Patoon, miss petunia this is my hookah that i actually do not use if you know me you know i don't smoke hookah but all of my friends do so when they come over i just <laughs> i like to entertain i'm a good host but yeah i got this from some smoke shop some hookah shop nearby to where i live so next over is my favorite favorite spot in my house it's my living room i love it so much it's so peaceful in here i love how the sun comes in and this is pretty much what sold me i love the three windows i love how the sunlight comes in and the color of the couch i kind of feel like it made it even more bright and airy so yeah along with the curtains it kind of gives it like a contrast but it still ties in as like nude minimal very clean looking the couch i get a lot of questions on her i got it from ashley's and the name of the couch is i want to say cambria 2 um and it's a sectional with chase if I am saying that wrong, I will put the, the link in the description. And obviously this is Jigga's favorite napping area. These throw blankets that you see, this one I got off of Amazon. I kind of wanted something to um, get rid of all of the pink <laughs> because I mean, if you know me, of course my favorite color is pink, but I felt like aside from the neutral tone, everything in here was pink and that's what I didn't want. I'm trying to be a big girl and I just wanted to be released from the shackles of pink. Um, the pillows did come with the couch. They do have a design on the back. I don't know if you can see that, but I did flip it over just so it can all like be one type of color scheme. On top of my ottoman, besides my phone, <laughs> Um, this little decor moment I have. So each of these designer books I bought myself. It didn't really come in a set, but I do have them linked in my Amazon account. I would flip this open, but I don't want to take all this down and it is very heavy. But the Ottoman does flip open if you saw it in my second moving vlog. It has storage at the bottom. I actually do have a pink throw blanket. That's where it is. And then I have a bunch of games um, at the bottom as well this little area over here i love 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 i just think it's so beautiful it's so neutral and calming the little basket that you see is from i want to say amazon now i really wouldn't even waste your time trying to invest in it or buy it because it is really small i really just used it for jigga's toys because she's bad and she chewed up the first basket that i bought for her i love this piece so much this like vase moment this pompous moment i think she's so cute so the vase this matte black vase i got from the store at home and then all of the pompous pieces you see is kind of a, another assortment that i made they are from amazon so i will i do have both of them linked this mirror i get a lot of questions on it the mirror is from home goods and i don't know if you guys remember or not but when i first moved in jika did have a bed over here but it was like this big fluffy hot pink bed she is now a big girl she has a big girl bed <laughs> and now we enter my bedroom so for my bedroom it is pretty minimal there is really not a lot of decoration going on in here um i really wanted it that way um just to be able to give myself a lot of room for changes or if i wanted to do anything differently so yeah this is just kind of an overview of how everything looks it is very very basic <laughs> and super minimal decoration in here so when you first walk in i mean of course you see my bed i think the bedroom is a pretty decent size if i didn't have jika's cage right here i'd probably put like a plant or like a really big bookshelf or a chair or something just because i do have a lot of dead space right here in this um 
open area when you first walk in because I don't have a dresser. Um, I am considering getting a dresser though, not gonna lie, but I think I'm just gonna replace it with the one that's in my closet right now. So the mattress that I have is, it's one of those like hydraulic beds. <laughs> so it's kind of like a sleep number bed and it does have this remote to where I can move it up and down. The headboard I got from Wayfair, let me tell you. I probably would never order anything else in my life from Wayfair, but that is just me personally. I feel like it took way too long. This was way too much of a Bob the Builder moment and I was not for it. Me and my mom put together the headboard and it took like two hours. I kid you not, it probably took longer than that. The nice stands that you see are from Wayfair as well. And those were put up by my father. Now, the bed <laughs> took about two hours to put up. But the night sands took a whole 48 hours. <laughs> like, it took my dad two days to put those night sands up. He had to take a break. He got frustrated and walked away. This comforter that you see is actually from Target. It is really, really soft. It is a queen size mattress. So there's queen size comforter, of course. Um, the throw pillows, the two pink ones are from ikea and they did come with the pink covers so i got those like years and years and years ago and then um the two in the front are actually pillows that i just got from my parents house and um i think the the white shams with the the cream colored shams with the balls on them those are from amazon this little number over here is probably like my favorite little aspect of my room I actually had this in my room at my parents' house and just brought it over here. The shelves are from Target and I feel like I looked up and found these one day. As for everything that you see in the inside, um, this vase is from Amazon. This little plant is from Target and these two wax figures are actually separate. I just put them together, but they're from Amazon as well. And then I just have um, some Chanel perfume and Ocean that was given to me as a gift. Um, in this nice stand, I just have my underwear and bra, stuff like that. And then at the bottom is all of like my pajama t-shirts and then shorts. The two lamps that you see on both of the nice stands are from Target. I actually have, I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it because it is daytime, the um, Amazon plugs. Um, I can link them if you guys are interested, but basically they're like echo plugs or like sockets that you put into the wall and then you plug whatever you want into it and like alexa can control it so i have some in here and then i also have them out in my living room for my couch so alexa turn on bedroom lights too okay. alexa turn living room lights off I don't know if I mentioned this before, but my TV in my bedroom is a 55 inch. And then I just have the tubing so you don't see the wires or anything. And then this little thing y'all see back here is just the gate that I put up when I leave the house. And Jigga's in here by herself. So yeah. And that is pretty much it for my room. It's really nothing special. And then this door right here, this is the door out into like the living room and kitchen. This door right here actually leads into my bathroom where we're going next. So when you first walk into my bathroom, there is a lot of lighting in here, which I do love. This is what got me because I've never had a shower with a light above it. Um, so it actually makes me want to make like shower content. Um, you do see this linen closet. She's not the best. So you're just going to get a peek just how you did the whole closet because baby, I don't know about y'all, but I do not know how to fold um, fitted sheets. This is just my sink, vanity area, and then my shower. And then over here is my closet, which we'll get into last. So these shelves, if you watched my um, moving series part two, you would have saw my whole Bob the Builder moment when I put them up or how I put the shelves together. I got them from Amazon. I love them so much. They're super sturdy. Um, on the top, I pretty much just have like all of my everyday essentials. I freaking love this body mist. I use it all the time when I'm getting out the shower getting ready for bed. Under here is pretty much all of my facial stuff. And I promise all of the pink was unintentional. 
This little black tray you see is from Amazon. It is an Amazon storefront. Under my sink is not too fun. You know, on this side, it's just like deodorant and extra soap and shampoo and stuff like that. Now, these drawers, I did take the time to organize. So this top drawer, I mean, I feel like this drawer just kind of screams how much of a girly girl I am, but it's kind of like my everyday essentials or what I use the most. So I'm just gonna move this bag really quick so you guys can see. So if you can see, there are like clear organizers in here. So in this first one, this big one, it's pretty much all of like my big combs and brush, um, detangling brushes, wide tooth combs, stuff like that. And then in these, th the one next over to it is just scrunchies and then some bobby pins. And this one is all like claw clips or just hair clips when I need to get my hair out of the way. Um, all on the side is all of my perfumes that I decided um, not to put on the rack up there because they probably didn't match with the, the color thing that I was going with. Um, I have some makeup wipes right there. This is actually a mirror that I got from Amazon just because I am blind. So <laughs> um, when I'm doing my makeup, I cannot just look in the mirror and bend over the sink. I have to be up close. These are the iconic TikTok lashes. And this one right here is pretty much just um, rat tail combs, toothbrushes, or for like my baby hairs. And then in the back, that one is not super organized, but it's just rubber bands, kind of like miscellaneous. That's why it's in the bag. And then this little bag that you saw on the top was just my makeup. Um, I just put it in this bag because I really don't have that much makeup. This next drawer. It's pretty much all of my hair products and this is organized as well. It may not look like it cause I do have a lot of hair stuff, <laughs> but if you don't know, now you do. I'm more of a hair girly than I am a makeup girl. So yeah, I feel like I do more to my hair than if anything else. In this first bin, um, it's pretty much just a bunch of hair products. Um, heat protectant. And this second one is pretty much just like edge control. This is some leave-in conditioner, some oil, and then these are like just claw clips. And then in the back, again, just miscellaneous things. Those are some extra bobby pins and then some track loop. <laughs> All along the side, I love, love, love these. They're super convenient for me because I hate when I'm washing my face and the water starts to run down my arms. So these are just like the little fluffy wristlets that you can put when you're washing your face. This little guy is a headband that I use when my hair is pretty much out and I don't want my edges to get wet when I'm washing my face. Uh, so it kind of like coexists in the same drawer. And that is pretty much it for this drawer. Um, yeah, and then in this last drawer, it's pretty much just all of, and obviously not as organized as these two, but it's pretty much just all of my hot tools. So this is like my crimping iron, um, curling iron, hot comb, and then this is that um, pink blow brush. If you follow me on TikTok, you guys fell in love with it. Um, and it comes in this bag with all of the um, head attachments. So I love that and I just kept the bag and I keep it at the bottom. And then this little pink thing you see right here is also on my TikTok. It's like that noodle thing where you want like the heatless curls or the overnight curls. I love it. It definitely keeps my hair curled whenever it is curled or if I have extensions in. And all of those items was for Amazon as well. And moving on into the last part of my bathroom, which is my closet. So I'm just gonna turn the light on. And here we are. So I'm pretty proud of my closet. I feel like my closet is very, um, it's way neater than it was in my parents' house. I'll say that. <laughs> I'll tell you that. Um, I also love how much space it is in here. Um, it is super roomy. Like, um, it is a full walk-in closet. So I loved that when I first was looking at the apartment. And if you go out this door, it leads us right back into the living room. And 
and that is a wrap you guys i really hope you guys liked it i really hope you guys enjoyed this whole moving series but we're not done yet make sure you put on those notification bells um because you don't want to miss our last parts of our moving vlog which is t's apartment i just want to make a quick little tiktok moment with y'all can i wrap to y'all real quick i am just words can't even explain how blessed and how thankful and how happy i am that i'm even in this place where i am living on my own um i can afford to live on my own um i'm happy i'm healthy like this is truly nothing but like god's doing i've prayed for this i feel like i manifested this um yeah I don't want to get too wishy, but for me to be in my early 20s, I'm just really happy and thankful that I was even placed in a position where I was able to make this happen. And so was Tori. Um, but yeah, I'm just really happy. I'm just really happy. <laughs> um, and I say that to say if there's anybody who is watching our vlogs who is in their early 20s or younger than that, older than that, doesn't really matter. It's possible. It is possible through work and prayer and manifestation. It's very possible. Um, so yeah, because I know I used to watch YouTube videos and moving vlogs as inspiration. Like that's gonna be me one day. I wanna move and I wanna decorate and do my house exactly how I wanna do it. I want my Pinterest board to come to life. But yeah, we're really thankful for you guys we really really are i think we hit 800 subscribers so that means we've gained 130 subscribers in one month so we can't even describe how thankful we are for you guys we are still on that road to 1k but with that being said make sure you do what you already know you need to do like comment and subscribe we really hope you guys enjoyed this video we really hope you guys have enjoyed the moving vlog thus far keep watching yeah <laughs> we love you guys we hope you enjoyed and um we'll see you in the next one bye